Hi, my name is Tom Covey. I'm a sales support engineer here at Sony Professional Solutions of America. In this video, I'll be showing you how to switch video and mix audio sources with the Anycast Touch. Let's get started with the video. The left of the main panel displays two tabs labeled Input and Scene. The Input tab contains live video thumbnails of your video sources. The Scene tab contains scenes, which are pre-built templates which can be created by the operator prior to the start of a live production. I'll describe scenes in a separate Anycast Touch Essentials video. Make sure the Input tab is selected. Tap on an input source. The source appears in the next window. Tap on the Take button. The source now appears in the program window and is taken to air. The selected signal is output from the program output connectors on the rear panel. To select another source, tap on the desired input source. Now tap on the Take button. The new source goes to air. It's just that easy. The Anycast Touch also contains a nifty function called Direct Mode. With Direct Mode, you can switch inputs directly to the program window without having to tap on the Take button. To enable Direct Mode, tap on the program window. The next window is disabled and displays the words Direct Mode. Now, tap on any of the video sources displayed in the Input tab to take that source directly to air. To disable Direct Mode, tap on the program window. The words Direct Mode will disappear from the next window. Selecting transitions can also be done by using the main touch panel. The right side of the window should display Option at the top. If it does not, tap on the back arrow in the top left corner of the displayed tab to go back to the Option display. In the Option display, tap on Transition. From here, you can select the transition type to use when the Take button is pressed. Your choices are Cut, Mix, and Wipe. You can select the transition rate from the pull-down menu to the left of the Take button. Different transition rates can be designated in the Setup menu by selecting the Others option. Mixing audio on the Anycast Touch is just as easy as switching video. When the unit is powered on, the audio mixer is displayed by default on the sub-touch panel. You'll see five virtual channel faders which control the audio levels assigned to those faders in the Audio Setup section of the Setup menu. Right below each of the faders are buttons that allow you to enable or disable the channels of audio that those faders are controlling. Right above are buttons that allow you to engage some of the audio features of the Anycast Touch, such as Audio Delay, EQ, Trim, and Pan. To the right of the channel faders, you'll also see two faders and an audio meter. The fader to the left controls the level of the mix audio output signal, and the fader to the right controls the level of the program audio output signal. The button below the audio meter can be used to toggle between monitoring the program audio signal or the mix audio signal. Just above the program and mix faders is the volume control for the monitor or headphone output located on the side panel. Once your inputs are configured, simply drag the sliders for the enabled faders to adjust the audio levels. You'll notice that as you drag the slider up and down, a window appears above the slider to display the current output level in dBs. The audio mixer has multi-touch support, which means you can operate four channel faders at the same time, just like you would on a standard audio mixer. That's it. I hope that you found this tutorial on switching video and mixing audio with the Anycast Touch helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.